Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to my course aspects of biochemical engineering. I was discussing uh, last uh, couple of lectures on the different biochemical processes and we try to understand that uh, how the chemical reaction uh, kinetics uh, can be applied in the biological system for better understanding on the process uh, like uh, enzymatic reaction kinetics and the microbial growth kinetics. And uh, after that, uh, I try to discuss the transport phenomena, how different transport mechanism that involve in the bioprocess. Then uh, finally, I, 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 I also discuss some kind of upstream processing like, uh, uh, like we have air, air sterilization and medium sterilization, which is appears to be the very important as the biochemical industry is concerned. Now, downstream processing in other way plays very important role in the biochemical industry because, uh, because, uh, because uh, the purity, purification of the product is essential for, uh, for increases market value. And if we look at uh, the type of uh, chemicals that is available in the market that is of two type, one is uh, of analytical grade, another is uh, commercial grade. Analytical grade, the purity of the chemicals is more than 99.9 percent and uh, uh, that uh, uh, commercial grade about 90-95 percent. So, uh, the cost difference is huge because the analytical grade may be as high as 4 times as compared to commercial grade. So, purification process we require lot of steps involvement that, uh, mo <coughs> that I, I want to give a typical example of the citric acid industry where we find that citric acid is produced by, by aerobic fermentation process using aspergillus niger from cane molasses and after citric acid formation what you do first we separate out the cells then the filtrate we pass through the um, uh, treat with lime for the separation of ca in the form of calcium citrate and uh, this calcium citrate I separated with the help of some kind of uh, filtration and then calcium citrate hydrolyzed with sulfuric acid from gypsum and citric acid gypsum again separated out with the help of gypsum filter. Then again this citric acid is concentrated in the evaporator to concentrate 22 percent to 60 percent. Then we pull it down and to, uh, to, to crystallize this citric acid and crystals of citric acid separated with in the centrifugation machine, then this crystals further we dried in the, uh, the dryer, drum dryer, and finally we, pour, we pass it through the sieving machine to get the different size of crystals, and finally we packed in the polythene pouch and sell in the market. So what I wanted to point out the different steps are involved in the downstream processing. Now <coughs> let us uh, let us uh, uh, this particular uh, uh, presentation I try to discuss. How, what are the different steps involved in the downstream processing and if you look at the, in the biological system we have two type of product one is extracellular product and another is intercellular product. Extracellular product means suppose this is the cell and, and, and if the, pro the product comes out of the cell and then it will be easy for separation because we first we separate out the cells then filter it we purify it to get the product. But intercellular cells is something different, the product present inside the cell. So, we shall have to break the cell wall so that the product should comes out from the cell and then we can purify the product. This is exactly that has been shown here that you know filtrate come this way and this way. We and then we have solid liquid separation, we do the concentration, purification and we do the formulation and then we have the final product. Now, in the different steps, we have different uh, type of uh, down, downstream processing involved uh, that in case of uh, cell disruption, we have chemical, enzymatic, mechanical and physical processes, solid liquid uh, separation, we have centrifugation, sedimentation, extraction and filtration. 
in case of concentration we have evaporation, ultrafiltration, adsorption and precipitation, purification we have chromatography and formulation we have crystallization, uh, freeze drying, spray drying and and the stereal filtration. Now, this downstream processing again varies on the different parameters as for example, if we with respect to size we have filtration that uh, membrane uh, the separation and centrifugation. If we wanted to uh, separate with respect to density then we have we have bed centrifugation, sedimentation and flotation. Now, with respect to diffusivity we have membrane separation with respect to shape we have centrifugation, filtration and sedimentation, polarity we have extraction, chromatographic and, and the adsorption, solubility we have extraction, precipitation, crystallization, electrostatic starch we have adsorption, membrane separation and electrophoresis and volatility we have distillation, membrane distillation and power vaporization. So, these are the different uh, processes that we have involved and the cell disruption if you consider this is I told you that uh, the main goal is to intracellular fluid without disrupting any component present inside the cell. That is the main purpose of disruption process. Now, cell disruption uh, process may be divided into two types. We can see that uh, one is non-mechanical method, another is mechanical method. Non-mechanical method, we have physical method, chemical method and enzymatic method. Now, physical method, we have fizz and throw. Uh, and then we have uh, we have uh, we have uh, freeze and freeze and throw. We understand that we we frozen the cells. Then we 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 throw it. That means we 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 we, we liquefy it. So it cells are bu they burst in between that. Then microwave and thermolysis. Then th and that osmotic stocks. Uh, the, we, we, we due to osmotic so cell break breakage take place. Electric discharge that also causes the um, breaking of the cells. And then enzymatic we have lysozyme we use for breaking the cells, chemicals we have some kind of buffer we use for breaking the cell wall, mechanical we do it physically that is we um, motor and pestle or grinding, blender, bead the beating, ultrasonication and the homogenization. So, these are the different techniques through which we can do this uh, cell disruption. Now, some pre treatment is required uh, is used primarily difficult to filter the slurry enabling them to be filtered more easily. So, we first we separate out the uh, bigger cells. So, the small cell will not pose much of problem to the uh, separation processes. It is usually involved changing the nature of suspended solid by either chemical or physical means or by adding the solid filtered to the suspension. Now, pre-treatment we have two type one is chemical and another is physical. Chemical I told I, 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 I want to tell you suppose this uh, bacterial cells they are very small in size 0.5 to 2 microns. Now, this uh, due to the small size it is very difficult to separate them. So, you know, what we sometimes require some kind of filter aid so that, so that the, the accumulation of the cells take place and particle size increase then, then these can easily settle down. So, this is uh, this is the kind of what you call flocculation, then coagulation we know uh, we use the alum in the water treatment process uh, to separate the colloidal matter present in the water, pH adjustment there is another technique that we have, a physical uh, method we have filter aid addition. I can give the example of solka flock, solka flock basically a cellulosic material that is used in the chemical and biochemical industry for the separation of activated charcoal. Activated charcoal is a fine uh, particles and if it present in the product it will look like black and that is not permissible. So, solka flock is used freezing and aging that is another process that we use. Now, solid concentration can be done in two ways, one is sedimentation and another is centrifugation. Now, in case of sedimentation, I, I told you that suppose this is a vessel and uh, you have you, you keep the suspended particle like this. So, what will happen with respect to time you will find this particle will settle down like this. Am I right? Now, this settle down uh, of the particle is due to the gravitational force. So, 
Sedimentation is the process letting the suspended particles settle by the gravity which is which is a natural force. In sedimentation the particles which are denser than the liquid media would settle and form a zone heavier uh, very high particulated concentration. So, here we will be concentrating of the particle will be very high as compared to this and we use the stroke law for, uh, for explaining the settling velocity of the particle g is the gravitational force and this is actually acceleration due to gravity this is rho s is the density of the solid rho l is the density of the liquid d is the diameter of the particle and rho is the viscosity. Now, in case of centrifugal uh, force it is we know in the centrifugal force uh, cent uh, settling we have two type of uh, 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 process act on it one is centrifugal and then centripetal. Centripetal acts uh, 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 that are uh, towards the center and, uh, and, uh, and centrifugal is, uh, is uh, towards the periphery. So, your solid particle is uh, separated with the help of centrifugal force. Now, the process process uh, with the separation of the particle solution according to the density and viscosity of the media and rotor speed and when the force is greater than the gravity is desired. Now, here I can we can say you tell you that settling velocity is defined is the d c equal to o omega square r rho s. So, if you find this portion is the same as our settling velocity only the gravitational force is replaced g is replaced by omega square by r am I right. The omega what is omega is the angular velocity this is radian per second and r is the uh, <coughs> radial direction. Now, in the uh, we have a, a sigma factor that we calculate on the basis of q is the is the volumetric fluid rate and uh, uh, b g that uh, is the, 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 the separation velocity that we have uh, settling velocity that that can be uh, that uh, that is expressed by the sigma sigma factors. Now, uh, Dick stack uh, uh, bowl centrifuge we have this kind of equation that uh, the sigma equal to twice pi omega square n minus 1 uh, 3 g theta. Now, omega is the angular velocity n is the uh, re, uh, that uh, number of disk of the stack and g is the gravitational force of attraction then uh, acceleration due to gravity and theta is the at uh, the uh, half cone angle of the disc r 2 square is the outer the radius of the disc and r 1 is the uh, inner inner radius of the disc. Now, this is how the centrifugal uh, things that works when you centrifuge the liquid will will be uh, uh, close to the uh, center and your solid material will be at the periphery the result comes out like this. This is how the solid separation take place in the centrifuge and this is the uh, kind of lab centrifuge we use in our lab. This is the disc stack uh, that centrifuge machine we have different discs that we have how this here how the solid material accumulation take place you can see it here that how solid that may take place here. Now, we have a simple problem here a, a continuous disc st stack uh, centrifuge is operated 5000 rpm for separation of Baker's is uh, at a at a feed rate 60 liter per minute 50 percent of the cells was recovered uh, at constant centrifuge speed. If the centrifuge speed is constant that means 5000 rpm the solid recovery is inversely proportional to be. So, so uh, what is this uh, the what flow rate is required to achieve the 90 percent cell recovery if the centrifuge speed is maintained 5000 rpm. So, since it is inversely proportional I can always write 50 percent by 90 percent that it is inversely proportional to that that means, this is to be multiplied by your flow rate that is 60 liter per minute. Then you can find out the what flow rate is required to get uh, this, uh, this uh, 90, per 90 percent separation of the cells. Now, next problem is that what uh, operational speed is required to achieve 90 percent recovery at a feed rate of 60 percent. So, here we have says the sigma that is proportional to omega square and this is the again it is proportional to q. So, we can we can write q 1 by q 2 equal to omega square 
where 2 omega 1 square by omega 2 square. Am I right? So, here, uh, here what operating speed is required? Speed with the, that means, uh, omega 2 you have to find out and omega 1 and uh, 90 percent required omega 1 we know that 90 percent separation we just calculate how much omega 1 is required q 1 and q 2 we know we can easily find out the omega 2. Now, let us see how we have done here that uh, here exactly what I am saying that 50 percent to 90 percent is 60 liter per minute we can get this 33.31 liter per minute and q 1. So, q 1 is coming like this q omega omega 1 is 5000 rpm the q 2 is 60 liter because we want to maintain the original flow rate what should be the omega 2 value so this relation. So, we have then we can find out this omega 2 value am I right this omega 2 value we can calculate this is coming about 6710 uh, rpm. So, this is summarized in the table that at 50 percent recovery of solid at a flow rate 60 milliliter per minute operating speed is 5000 rpm, but 90 percent uh, is a solid separation we flow rate will be should be reduced to 33.31 if you want to maintain the same operational speed, but 90 percent recovery if you want to maintain the same previous flow rate then the rotational speed of the starter that is the centrifuge machine that will be increased to 6710. Now, alter centrifugation machine is uh, another device where we can use uh, for the separation of the fine particles, small particle matter we can use as for example, protein, RNA, DNA those can be separated with the help of this ultra centrifugation machine and that is usually operated at the very high angular velocity the 30,000 to 50,000 rpm. Now, but you see that due to this uh, we required lot of uh, lot of heat generation for that cooling device is required. So, this is the, 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 the main principles behind that is use the size molecular weight density and the mobility of the particles that involve uh, for the separation of the, uh, the macromolecules present in the in the in the liquid. Now, solid separation is, is involve the filter in which the solid and liquid is classified by different ways. Uh, one is filtration, another is the uh, cake filter that uh, the cake filter divided by the divided into pressure, volume, centrifugal and gravitational operation. Now, the filtration technique is very simple. This is the filter media that we have build filtered we have and we put the suspended uh, this is the filter media this is the suspension. So, here the, here the suspended material uh, here here the suspended material that you know that uh, the accumulated here and filtered with percolate through this and here we we, we use some time pressure. So, that you know rate of flux of the liquid increases and um, we will get uh, more uh, filtered flow that uh, uh, when when the solid is present is very low concentration not exceeding 1 percent weight by volume the process is separation of the, on the liquid is called clarification. So, this uh, clarification basically deals with that separation of the solid from the liquid. Now, uh, we have uh, this filtration we have different uh, different things involved one is slurry then uh, we have uh, we have filter media we have filter cake and filtered. Now, slurry the suspended to be uh, to be filtered. So, this is the feed where uh, slurry is there that uh, comes in the form of slurry and that is to be filtered. So, we put some kind of filtration media when the porous media is used to retain the solid. Then we have filter cake this we can we accumulate of the solid on the filter that you know that the cake formation is there and that whatever clear liquid comes out we call it filtered. Now, filter media that uh, function uh, function of filter media is primarily acts on impermeable barrier to the particulate matter. I can I can give the example here that you know, that here that uh, that you know that if you look at uh, this uh, this is the uh, filtration media and this is how this particulate this accumulated on the surface and in case of this is in cases of surface surface filtration 
and in case of depth filtration the particulate not only accumulated at the surface but accumulated inside the inside the inside the pore also so we have this is some rhythm balance with your with the, with your uh, filter that you know fiber filtration also we have shown you that particles how they are that uh, that uh, entrap within the fibers so uh, this is the uh, the solid liquid separation uh, filtration offered the cake filter because of continuous deposition of the cake on the suppose suppose we have filtered and uh, solid particles that uh, uh, accumulated on the so this is how the cake uh, cake development cake filtration take place so filtered media will be we have different we have filtered paper open filtered like cheese cloth open uh, polymeric fiber open glass fiber non open uh, fiber paint sintered and perforated glass sintered and perforated metal ceramics and synthetic fibers so different type of filtered media we can use and uh, here a type of filtration we can see this is the suspended particle they when uh, it is settled down this is the filter filter fil that filter media and this is the how the solid particles that deposited on the surface of the fil that filter media and this is called cake filtration and then it is it is the kind of filter that where the speed is going and you will get the filtered here also you get the filtered and here mm, suppose we have a fixed uh, uh, filter media and your flow is like this and, uh, and then filtration take place in this direction we call it the cross flow filtration now mechanism of uh, filtration we have different we have surface filtration we have depth filtration in case of surface filtration particulates are not allowed to enter into the filter media that i have shown you i have show i have already shown you and cake filtration or cross filtration are based on surface filtration but in case of depth filtration particulates are allowed to penetrate in the pore and pore network present in the filtration media they are retained within the filter by three mechanism direct interception uh, inertial impaction and diffusion null interception because this uh, all principles i explained during the air air filtration process now this i have already explained the some some material in the entrap in, in inside that um, like your uh, uh, that you know air sterilization process this occurred in case of surface filtration the particle remain on the surface of the filtration media now the constant pressure filter cake that you know filtration process that uh, uh, we we the where the filtration where the driving force is kept constant the flow of liquid through the filter is depends on k into a into del p rho by l where k is the darcy law of permeability a is the area and of the filter del p is the pressure difference across the across the filter media rho is the viscosity l is the thickness of the filter media now q is the kind of flow that the, the, the passing through the filter media is again q equal to a into del p mu into rm rm is considered as a, a that a media resistance and so q is the flow rate this can be expressed as dp by dt and this is this is again it will be equal to this same formula that we can put it here now finally there is constant pressure uh, cake we have this equation dp by dt del by dm and uh, da rm by rc was rc is the cake resistance uh, so the thickness of the cake deposited is proportional to the cumulative amount of heat filtered and hence the cumulative volume of filtered and the cake thickness is inversely proportional to the filtered area and it can be written in this form where is alpha is the specific cake, cake resistance meter per kg and cs is the mass of cake solid uh, per unit volume of the filtered expressed as kg per cubic meter now this uh, this equation we can write in the form of t that if you solve in the form of t then we can write t equal to this equation and this we can simplify in the form in the form this k equal to kp b, b square b into v and kp equal to this one and v beta equal to this one and finally t by v equal to kp v into b and this equation is something similar to y mx plus c now if we plot uh, uh, t by v versus uh, v 
then we will get a straight line. If you pass through uh, here, then we have some b value, but if you pass through origin, then beta will be b equal to 0, then the slope will be equal to k p and from k p we can k p is equal to uh, again equal to this. So, we can find out the different other parameters if we want to calculate. Now, this is the problem that we have the following data are obtained for a constant pressure cake filtration experiment. The time is uh, 5 second, 10 second, 20 second and 30 second. The volume is uh, increased like this. So, um, volume of the cake that is increased like this. So, A equal to this, uh, these parameters are given and what you have to find out R m value and specific, this is the uh, resistance of the cake and the specific resistance of the cake both you have to calculate. Now, let us see how you can calculate because I told you that we shall have to plot uh, this uh, T by V versus V and we will get uh, and if you look at the straight line it goes almost uh, through the origin. So, we can assume B equal to 0. So, we have K p value, K p we can easily find out from the slope, this is the slope and this uh, K p once we find out the K p value and this is beta equal to 0, so R m equal to 0 and then we can write K p equal to this one and uh, we know mu, mu value, we had C s value, del p value, A value we know. So, we can find out the specific resistance of the cake. So, in this particular lecture, I try to point out that uh, how you can, uh, the, how the downstream processing uh, that important in the biochemical industry that uh, one uh, that is the steps that is common to all chemical and biochemical industry is the separation of the particles. Now, separation of the particles can be done by different means, one we, with respect to uh, gravity by using sedimentation technique with respect to force separation by using the centrifugal force centrifuges by using centrifuges. Uh, so, we have I discussed the uh, membrane filtration, we discussed the cake filtration and uh, cross flow uh, filtration process and we try to find out the what should the cake res specific cake resistance or the resistance of the cake, how the, how the, uh, the uh, uh, angular velocity of the uh, centrifuge have uh, that uh, pro is proportional with the uh, percentage separation of the solid particle. Thank you very much.